Yeah, and you are, so I, I believe, I don't know much of your background. So were you, you were born overseas or you were born in the States? Right. I was born in Russia and I grew up in the United States. Okay. So and what, when did you come over to the United States? I was 13. 13. Okay. So you were, oh boy. So you were at that age of, I'm just discovering these. At the worst time, <laughs> at the worst time. It was so uh, hard. So when you, you came know? here, like, so, well, I guess what, if you can share it, why, why did your family decide to leave, um, if I could call it, can I call it Mother? I'm probably offended. I'm, I, I will offend people. So I'm probably <laughs> Mother Russia. How, when did Mother you leave? Russia, Mother Russia. You know, well, well, my family left because I mean, uh, it was Russia in the '90s, so it was a fairly crime-ridden. Mm. So my family just basically didn't want their kids to be exposed to a lot of that, um, just danger that was, you know, happening at the time after the wall fell. Uh, all of the '90s was very uh, turbulent. In yeah Rochester. and which is which is good history because uh I, I think a lot of that stuff like today like is missing like the berlin wall i've noticed like some of my really younger friends my kids my kids my friends kids they have no idea about any of that like none of that and they don't they don't even, first they don't, they don't know what you mean by berlin wall and then they don't know what happened to the old soviet union they don't I, I, which is baffling to me because I I'm a I'm a bit older than you are obviously, but I have um uh, I I grew up in the 80s and the 90s and you know we you know Rocky IV was on all the time here so we right. saw yes we saw the American propaganda for it and I'm sure the other side saw the Russian propaganda for it but we all knew about it but it's just weird that kids don't know about it now when you when you came here at 13 uh, and you said you know you're for I mean, from Russia to obviously when you go to school, the kids treat you any differently? Were, were there people that were sympathetic or did you find like a group of other Slavic people to hang around? You know, I actually was the only one. Oh, I was wow. the only Slav, Slav in my high school. And for the first year I was completely alone. Hmm. So, but it was interesting because um, a vacuum shall be filled you know, because nature abhors it. So <laughs> what happened is that um, Ethiopian girls took me under their wing. Nice. So I hung out with Ethiopian seniors for the first for the first year of my life in the United States. And that was so very interesting because Russia is not diverse. And all of a sudden I was surrounded from kids from all over, uh, with kids from all over. So, um, so that first year I spent... Um, in the, because they had cars and stuff so they just sort of like took this little little you know Russian Psychic. freshman all over all over the city with them they just they just basically adopted me and it was very very sweet 